Hi, welcome to Learn Finance. Today we're going to be looking at how to solve for the internal rate of return on a project using the BA2 Plus financial calculator. We're going to start off with a simple problem and then try a little bit more of a nuanced problem later on. All right. Firm A is considering a project that has an initial cost of $65,000 but is expected to generate positive net cash flow of $10,000 each year for the next 10 years. What is the internal rate of return, the IRR, of the project? Okay, once you have your calculator on, the first step is to click the cash flow button right here next to your second button. The first menu you see is the uh, CF sub zero, and uh, you want to enter um, the uh, cost of the project. This is the first cash flow, so first cash flow being the, the cost of the project um, is $65,000. It's important to remember that this is a negative cash flow though, so we want to make sure that we hit this sign change button at the bottom here. And then of course to lock it in, hit the enter button right here at the top. Alright, secondly, we can hit the down button which should say C01. That's the first cash flow after the initial cash flow. In our case, we know that the project will generate the $10,000 each year for the next 10 years. So we're going to go ahead and put in $10,000. And that's positive because it's generating positive net cash flow. And to lock it in, we'll just press enter. Next, we're going to press down one more time. It'll say F01. That's the frequency of the cash flow we just entered. So in this case, because we have a $10,000 cash flow for 10 years, this is going to be 10, because the cash flow we just entered occurs 10 times. And then we'll lock it in. Now if you press down, it should say C02. And as long as that's zero, it won't allow you to go any further, and that signals that it's the, the final cash flow. So ne the next step is to hit IRR, which is right here. And then the Compute button, which is in the top left hand. And we end up with 8.71% uh, IRR. So the internal rate of return for this project would be 8.71%. Firm B is considering a project that has an initial cost of $40,000. The project will not produce positive net cash flow for the first three years, but will generate $25,000 for years four and five, and $20,000 in year six. What is the internal rate of return of the project? Okay, so the first step is to hit the cash flow button, which is right here next to the second button. And it should say CF sub zero. So we'll enter our first cash flow there, which it is a cost because the project cost $40,000. Before we can get any of the positive cash flows, we need to actually uh, buy this project for $40,000. So we'll go ahead and enter $40,000. And then, because it's a negative cash flow, we're going to make, want to make sure we hit the sign button down here at the bottom. So it says negative $40,000. And then once you do that, go ahead and lock it in by pressing enter here. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and press down. Now it should say uh, C01. And this will be our uh, first cash flow. So in this case, the project isn't generating cash flow for the first three years. Um, but instead of enter entering $25,000, um, initially we're going we're gonna to enter zero. So go ahead and hit zero. It should already show up there if you haven't had anything else in there. And then go ahead and lock it in. Press enter. And then if you press down, it should say F01, which is the frequency of the cash flow that we just entered. So because it's going to be three years before we get any cash flow, so it's going to be zero for three years, we'll go ahead and enter a three. Enter. And then if we hit down again, it'll say C02. So the next cash flow is the $25,000 for 
for the fourth and the fifth year. So we can enter that in and that's a positive cash flow. And we can hit enter. Now F02 is the frequency of the cash flow we just entered. And because it's happening twice, once in year four, once in year five, we'll enter a two. Enter. And C03 is the third cash flow, which in this case is $20,000. And that only happens once. Okay. So that's the end of entering into the cash flow. So the next step is to hit the IRR button right here and then compute in the top left hand corner. And we end up with 12.12% uh, IRR. So the internal rate of return of this project is 12.12%.